To get any one of our instructional DVDs on any MPC, visit SampleKings.com. Once you get there, select right here under Samplers. You can get any MPC instructional DVD or video download. If I click here, I get the MPCX. You can order right here, get the DVD, the download, even download the manual. It's that easy. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the expansion packs in our browser. So our browser's right here on the right-hand side of our software, of course, and I'm currently in Project. So we have Program, Project, Sequence, and Samples. So in Program, we can select the type of program we want to load. So program's going to have uh, stuff on pads, or it could be a keyboard program, it'll load into our software. So in this case, if I go to Kits, I can load an acoustic kit. I click on Acoustic, and I see all the available acoustic kits I have. I can come here, click here, it will load this acoustic kit in, and I come here, we'll see the kit, and over here we'll see it's from 1 to 16. Okay, so I loaded a program in. And so let's uh, leave that, leave kits. I also have melodic I can load in. So I can load R&B, I can load EDM, and I have an instrument family. So I can either load a synth string, piano, uh, pads, keys, guitar, or brass. Now also, when I go to projects, there's a filter here too? No, no filter, look at that. If I come to program, I got a filter, different types of programs. I come to sequence. Different types of sequences. Could be acoustic, dub, EDM, hip hop, R&B, trap, urban, and vintage. I come to samples, I have different filters. So when I come to project, it's different. Because a project has an entire song in it, we'll say. Where it could be all set up. You may have done a song already, and you load it up. So let's load a project up, and we'll look at this. I'm going to go here where this says uh, Trigger Songs R&B Demo. I'll click here. It'll say, loading a project will replace everything in memory. Do you want to continue? We'll press OK. So it takes everything out. If I had something in here, it's loading everything in. We get this progress bar. And now you can see the grid is filled up. All right? We'll see here we have a BPM, our beats per minute. I can come to right here and press play. I'll press stop to stop it. So I can press play stop. I can press from the start again. Or I can play from where it's at. Stop it. Or play from the beginning. Press stop. Play from the top. Press stop. Move the cursor here. Then press play. Stop. So this will play from where it's at. This will play from the top. This will stop. Now, I've got this loaded in. We'll see here, we've got programs going on. Okay, we got more than one. All these programs are right here for us. We have the sequence, right? And these are the tracks of that sequence right there. These are sequences. And they're all right here. Then I can see I have pads. And let's scroll up here. We'll see we have one through 16 different pads going on here. We can see our cue links are lighting up, lighting up here. We've got uh, sequence length, um, sequence loop, we have playhead. And what I can also do here, I can come right down here, I can open up my mix window. And here in the mix window, I can see everything. So by just loading in that sequence or that project, I can see the sequences, everything to deal with the project, but also I can see this mixer window where I have available to me the audio tracks, the programs. So, and I have the master. So you see the masters here. That's the program. Audio is gone. Now audio is back. This is the audio track right here. This is the program. So on one program, I can have many sounds. So I come here to slow this one out. This is all guitar. Let's turn the metronome off right here. I don't see it. Come back here. Pull the mixer back up. We'll see here we have a chorus. We have a delay on this thing. I pull it up. 
here's my delay. Change my delay setup. Cut my timing down here. Stopped it. So I can change anything. Let's close this out. And that's all within this one track. That means it's the whole program. Other programs here. Might be too loud for me. I'll see the level here, and this is my master over here. I'll bring down this level. So that was a project. Now next I'm gonna look at sequences right here. I come to sequences, and our filter is just genre right here, right? So I'm going to come in here, first of all, go to this one sequence here, and this is third kind. And I'm going to click on this and load it up. So I clicked on that, and it loads up. Now I press play. So it loaded up. And you'll see here in the program, it loaded the third kind program. Now before, when I was in program, and I went to third kind, that program loaded by itself without the sequence. So the sequences, when they're saved a certain way, will load up with the program and then how it's played, obviously here. And you get to see this here on our grid, how long each note is, and you'll see our velocities, they appear below that, which can actually just raise or lower to get an idea of your velocity settings. Now also here, we have sample. So I can come here to sample, and once I'm in sample, we have a really deep filter system. We have type, genre, we have instrument family, instrument. So let's say I'm looking for some hip hop, and then we got kick drum. And now we see all the hip hop kick drums right here. I can go to one, and I can come down here, I can audition that drum, audition this one. I can click here, click here again, and pick something else, maybe r and I'm looking for a trap, maybe, something in the trap family. I'm looking for trap drums, right, right here. And now I might look for trap kits, and here's trap kick drums. I come to here, we'll say, I wanna hear this one. I hear this one here. And we got different sounds. One right here. So we can audition our samples when we go through our browser, and here's stuff back from our expansion pack. So when we're back here in program, certain expenses are lit. We go to project, just one is lit in this case. We go to sequences, these two are lit here, right? I go to samples, they're all lit. I got samples in here, in my library. Here's my loop library. I come to here, I'll click here, and I'll press play. Here's a drum loop right here. And this is our expansion pack, our filter, and it's all in our system right here, which is our browser. We're gonna browse for sounds and get some elements you wanna use inside our project.